Then we'll get into Exodus chapter 3. Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in, the, in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not burnt. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he said, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet. For the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the Lord God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt, and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. For I know their sorrows. I am come down to deliver them out of the land, out of the hand of the Egyptians, and to bring them up out of that land unto a good land, and a large unto a land flowing with milk and honey, unto the place of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hivites and the Jebusites. Now therefore behold the cry of the children of Israel is come unto me. And I have also seen the oppression wherewith the Egyptians oppressed them. Come now therefore and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee. This shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee, when thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, I shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. And the Lord said moreover unto Moses, Thus shall thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob hath sent me unto you. And this is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Go and gather the elders of Israel together, and say unto them, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, appeared unto me, saying, I have surely visited you, and seen that which is done to you in Egypt. And I have said, I will bring you up out of the affliction, of Egypt unto the land of the Canaanites and the Hittites and the Amorites and the Perizzites and the Hevites and the Jebusites unto a land flowing with milk and honey and they shall hearken to thy voice and thou shalt come thou and the elders of Israel unto the king of Egypt and ye shall say unto him the Lord God of the Hebrews hath met with us and now let us go, we beseech thee, three days' journey into the wilderness, 
that we may sacrifice to the Lord our God. And I am sure that the king of Egypt will not let you go. No, not by a mighty hand. <clears throat> and I will stretch out my hand and smite Egypt with all my wonders, which I will do in the midst thereof. And after that, he will let you go. And I will give this people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that when ye go, ye shall not go empty. But every woman shall borrow of her neighbor and of her that sojourneth in her house jewel, jewels of silver and jewels of gold and raiment, and ye shall put them upon your sons and upon your daughters, and ye shall spoil the Egyptians. In other words, God came down in the form of a burning bush and told Moses that Moses himself was going to lead the Hebrews out of Egypt along with instructions on how to do so. In essence, there will be a network of people trading things around like salt, sugar, or spices, and even gold. Um, I guess as a currency, gold, silver, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, God told Moses that they would be led to a land of milk and honey, or in other words, paradise. Well, uh, this is kind of interesting. It's kind of like um, reading about like uh, um, a version of the Underground Railroad from about um, a couple millenniums ago. Um, kind of relates to it in a way. Pretty cool. Um, yeah. So, um, um, there's, uh, there's a little more to come after this one, but that's my interpretation of it. Thank you. Have a great day or a good night.